Today I'm gonna to show you how to replace a broken Volterra fresh water, city water hookup or your tank water hookup when they fail on you because they're made of cheap plastic. Let's get into the video. Before we start, go down there, hit the like and subscribe button if you like this content and if you wanna see more. I'm gonna show you how to fix this. Here we go. A tight seal. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like it. Okay. Uh -oh. Yeah, that looks tight. Mm -hmm. <gasps> it broke. It dang it broke. Uh -huh. well, that's what I was thinking. It was breaking. Now you gotta buy a whole new piece. Look at that. You just <laughs> replaced it too. I did just replace it. All right, guys. Well, it is the next day uh, since me and Linda were just working on the trailer and doing some of the stuff we're showing you, and. As you saw, we broke this piece off on this piece right here. Um, this is a Volterra product. And so we went online to Amazon and we were able to find a replacement Volterra product. The only thing is with this replacement, it does not come with this sticky gasket stuff uh, that they call, I'll tell you the exact name because I had to buy a whole stinking roll of it. Dicor Butyl Tape. And I guess it's basically sticky on both sides. It's, it's not like caulking. You can actually just work itself loose, but when it tightens up nice and tight with the screws, it makes a watertight seal. So you're gonna need to pick you up some of this um, butyl tape, B-U-T-Y-L tape. What we're gonna do, we're gonna re remove this one and we're gonna go ahead and do all the hoses and put this one back in. And, uh, and then we're gonna attach our water line. You gotta be careful so you don't wreck your trailer. So don't go smashing a sharp object in there. Tear up your fiberglass. It is nice and sticky. Just nice, constant, steady pressure. We'll pull that off of there. That's the purpose of it, is that it just stays connected. Makes that like, like gummy seal. There we go. I'm gonna clean this up a second and then uh, we'll get back to replacing this. So just tear off all this stuff, clean it all up nice and good. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this plate. What I need to do is take off this water line and then take off this hose clamp right here and pull this off, make sure I'm not breaking nothing. You can get you a, a wrench that fits this perfectly but a pair of um, pliers will do it. We'll do the job just fine. Now your hose may not be one of these steel braided lines. I actually replaced these and put all steel braided lines on my, on my trailer inside and removed all those little cheap ones. And you can actually get most of these lines at like Lowe's or Home Depot. Okay, so we've removed it. It was broken right here. I'm gonna work on getting all this cleaned up. I'm gonna go get me a plastic spatula and I'm gonna get all this old stuff off and then we're gonna return and we're gonna put on the new one. Once we've got all this cleaned up, it's nice and clean. I'm gonna go ahead and take some strips of my butyl tape and I'm gonna lay them all the way down and around here and see if I can make sure I have a good seal. Is some sticky stuff. All right, now that we've got all the butyl tape installed, we're gonna go ahead and remove all of our paper from around it, trying to keep it as clean as possible. 
And we don't want to get the oils from our hands all over it either. Let's put that in my pocket for now. All right, make sure that you cover all of your edges. See the edges are, we'll just round those off a little bit. And we need to put our water line on. So we're gonna put a little Teflon on here. And we're gonna get this ready. Okay, so now we got some thread lock tape. Now let's go ahead and install first this big hose. Make sure you put your hose clamp on first. Probably better if I had a little bit bigger screwdriver. All right, we got her nice and tight. Next, we're gonna install our water hose right here. Make sure you don't cross thread it now. And there are two sets of, of uh, where you can hook two wrenches on while you tighten that. I recommend doing that when you're taking it off or when you're putting it on. So I do have another wrench right here. Put that right there just to hold that in place. All right, before you go ahead and screw that on, put your hose on this and turn it on and see if you have any. Okay, now we got water. You can hear it going through there. Make sure it's pressurized. I don't see any leaks whatsoever at all. All right, I think we're good to go. All right. Start with one screw here. Make sure we get them all lined up properly. Okay, there it is guys. We'll leave all that excess. Don't, don't take that excess off. Leave it just like that. And that's all there is to, to replacing this Volterra piece with your water lines for your, um, for your fresh water tank and for your city water hookup. Remember, you can get these on Amazon Way cheaper than you can at one of the shops, but when you're in a crunch, go to one of your your um, RV shops and they should have that. Just don't forget to buy that butyl tape. Very simple fix. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe if you like this kind of video. Leave us a comment and we'll see you on the next video.